we're here with Grant Heaps, and uh, his uh, piece last year was a massive stag on the wall of Radiant Dark. So if you uh, check back in the uh, in the archives, we'll find it. But tell us about what the inspiration was for this year. Um, chair covers. <laughs> Good start. Honestly, the inspiration was I needed new dining room chairs. Bye. A very useful and purposeful and a good, you know, recessionary economy. Exactly. Nice to hear that designers need things too. And so I just, and, and continue the experimentation with uh, cross stitch pattern and needlework patterns and vintage patterns. Um, How did you get into that originally? I'm not quite sure. Fell into it? I mean, it? I, I love craft. I love, I make quilts. Right. I consider myself a quilt maker ultimately. Right. Um, but I'm always experimenting and trying to twist things and turn them in new directions. And I collect things, so I collect old patterns, I collect old craft books, ridiculous craft books if possible. So how many pieces are sort of in these chair covers? I have no idea. In some places there will be like probably up to six layers. Of wow! It's, so it's fabric over fabric over fabric. I did it in stages and I had a a helper's do parts. My mom, I would mail her packages. She would sew portions, the base pieces, Love and then it. mail them back to me. Oh my goodness, and that's then, awesome. Yeah, and it was this ridiculously labor intensive, organic thing that happened. And so, in terms of the actual materials you're starting with, are you sort of finding scraps, extra uh, fabric pieces? I, I purchased no fabric. Okay, you purchased none. I did have to purchase a batting that goes right. in between. Which I'm hoping to find a uh, non-purchase source, right. but I haven't done that yet. So I had to use the colors I had, right. or what I acquired. Right. Um, so I'm always, yeah. I, and so, and so you're basically taking a piece and sort of cutting it into multiple. You decide the pattern. Thousands of squares. I'm layering, cutting up old um, cross stitch and needlepoint patterns, and then relayering them on top of each other so from different sources. Cool. So it's just sort of whatever flies for the day. Every pattern is absolutely unique, and there, yeah. there's no real plan. You just sort no. of start and go from there. I mean, there's things I love. I love like decay in a way, yeah. and I love. I, I, I hope they have a slight feeling of decay and roughness and nature and and organic qualities of how things grow and change and so rot. Cool. And, that know. is so neat. So how long, if you're going to say the average chair cover took you I to make? Probably 60 hours. I would 60 it's hours and it just was, very intricate with the hands. Yeah, and I had to sew. So I had to sew the backgrounds and then right. the squares on the backgrounds were done by my mom. And then on top of that, I had to hand sew all the flowers down, and then I had the top stitch in both directions on top of that. And you're doing this all by hand? The, the actual flowers, the yeah. actual, so once I had the base constructed, I would sew all the, um, yeah, decorative flower parts on top by hand. And do you have like a thumb thimble, like thimble you like just, you just off you go? I got pretty quick. Yeah. But, and I had a volunteer, a friend Mike would come over once a week and help, and it was interesting to see how slow he was to start. He sped up, but it's. And and where are you doing this from? Your I have home? A small okay. workroom in my home. And with a massive table. I'm like, big, what happens if some of these pieces fall off? I have a sewing machine. Okay. And my whole home is covered in little squares and lint. <laughs> Love it. Okay, yes. and you're from Toronto. I'm from Toronto. Okay, and yes. where um, where can people sort of see this, find it in? Through me. Yep. At this point, okay, um, I'm doing a show in their room in April. They have a small yeah. gallery yeah, space. Yeah, yeah, you did so that I'm doing the April room. Really yeah, cool. We'll look forward to that. Yeah, okay. I'm very excited. Well, thank you very much for your oh, story and your time. Pleasure.